Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy? Or? Still to be happy about it. You're up 2-0. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, to two Chris Blazing Takes. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Similar, what's up, what it do is Rick Blaze coming to you live and direct another episode of Rick's Blazing Takes, giving you the ins and outs of SimWorld. And baby, we here. We is here. The next time you hear my voice after today, the first round of Race to One will be in the books. We here. So I figured since we're here already, let me go ahead and give you how I think this bracket is going to play out. Now, filling out brackets, picking teams is a very dicey, dicey, dicey game. Um, So do I expect to get these correct? Uh, not really. I'm just going to have some fun with it. Um, I think when it comes to picking brackets like the Sim World bracket or NCAA uh, March Madness bracket, it's such a dice game. I really think so. I think there's no different here in Sim World. So I'm going to use the picks that I chose uh, when March was on for those two days as my baseline. So those my first rounders are. I'm gonna stick with those guys who I, teams who I say I was going to win as my baseline as I move on to the other rounds. Okay. So in a legacy, I I, I chose uh, Rocky Mountain. I chose uh, Beast. I chose Beyond the Arch, and I chose Rain and Trace to win the first rounds. So that means uh, I have Rocky Mountain versus Beast, and I have Rain, uh, Beyond the Arch versus Rain and Trace. It's all about matchups. So with that matchup in mind, I got Rocky Mountain's uh, uh, beating Beast. I just think they're loaded. And I have um, Beyond the Arch beating Rain and Trace. Now, uh, before I get to this, I said it in the in the thread yesterday. You're never gonna believe who I went in this whole thing, and I'm gonna get to that in just a moment. All right, so now let's go to the second round here on the leg legend side. So first round I had just to recap. I had Lone Star with the upset over SES. I had Showtime over Bay Area. I had H Town over Yacht Club, and I had APAC over BCB or Best Coast. I'm sorry. So now with that in mind, that means there's Lone Star versus Showtime, and then that's H Town versus APEC. So in the Lone Star versus Showtime, I have Showtime beating Lone Star. Um, and in H Town versus APEC, I have H Town winning this one. All right. So now in the Legend Conference, the, the two teams is Showtime versus H Town. In H Town, that's gonna be crazy. And then you have uh, on the other side, you have Beyond the Arch versus um, the Monsters. The Monstars, Rocky Mountains. So back to Legacy. I have Beyond the Arch beating Rocky Mountains. The Monstars. I'm just going with the most. At, when it comes to games like this, and once you get into this part of the segment, I'm just giving it to the most dominant player. And I think he's the most dominant player right now, left in Sim World. So I got Beyond the Arch winning that, representing the Legacy Conference. And then with Showtime versus uh, H-Town, I got Showtime with the win. I know, crazy. So we got Showtime versus Beyond the Arch in the finals. And I've seen this game earlier when the Showtime played against uh, Beyond the Arch. And the last time, Beyond the Arch kind of took them behind the shade and whooped their behind. Let's just be honest. So this time, I think the game is going to be a whole lot closer. It's going to be a whole much, much more competitive game. But I still have Beyond the Arch. Yes, you heard it first, folks. I have Beyond the Arch, the team who started Owen forever, trying to find forever, the coach is on the hot seat. I have Beyond the Arch. They have the most dominant player left in Sinwood. Now, if Brandon was on this team, this is a totally different conversation. But I have Beyond the Arch winning the race to one. Congratulations. Congratulations to Coach Kusa and Beyond the Arch and your squad. Fantastic job, guys. They had you left for dead, but you ain't die. You just took a little rest. Congratulations, guys, for winning the, the for winning the race to one. Coach Kusa, your name is now written in the books, baby. They can't talk bad about you no more. From the coaching standpoint, you up there. Now you top five. Got to mention him right now. Congratulations to Beyond the Arch. Whew. Now let's see if this plays out the way I said it. See you guys Saturday.